Hi guys, John Moore with you again, the Mad Irishman. And what has John got for you today? Well, we're doing an update. And it's an update on the Zvezda T90, uh, Soviet main, Russian main battle tank. And we're doing it, going to be doing it in the desert scheme. Well, where have I got this so far? Well, the construction is done. I've all the construction done. Um, we've one or two little bits and pieces to put on, but they're just they're too fiddly and they end up getting broken off in the uh, the painting stage because there's lots of masking to do for this um, as you can see I have it the pre-shaded done with uh, NATO black which is uh, XF69 and the highlight in the white is uh, XF2 flat white now um, construction of it shall we say um i've left we get a little pointy little pointy thing there we go we've got to be shtick i left these little flaps open you can have them open or closed um i've put them open because they're the, the engine coolers um lovely little bits of uh, plumbing here on the um on the on the, the fuel tanks it's quite nice lovely lovely detail on that um my tow cables which are made with um picture hanging wire as you can see they're nicely nicely uh, embedded in there they came out quite nice and that they cross over there and they're mounted here and here um loads of other little tiny bits and pieces i have an under here already painted um with the colors because I had to do that before I put on the side skirts. So I, get, I did them, put on the side skirts. There's pictures up on Facebook if you want to check them out. As you can see from underneath, it's got the uh, the main base colours already in under there. Um, all the rest of these little fiddly wires and things are all on it and all in place. And all the uh, extra armour. It looks lovely. really, really does. Uh, very, very enjoyable kit. Very, very enjoyable kit. Um, I did say when I finished the construction that I give my 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 full opinion on it, and my opinion on it is go out and grab this whenever you can see it, lads. It's a very very reasonably priced kit, really really is, and for the level of detail, it's absolutely unbelievable. It's as good as any dragon kit or anything else that's out there. I will tell you that straight out. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for a beginner, but for intermediate to advanced, yeah, go out and buy it, lads. It's an absolutely excellent, excellent kit. Like I say, the detail and the fit is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, you know. Um, and as you can see from the pre-shading, it, it kind of makes some of, the, some of those little panels and things stick out that little bit better. So you can see the detail that's in there is absolutely amazing. It really, really is. Um... And I definitely, definitely recommend that for uh, for anybody to go out and buy because it's not an expensive kit. It's not um, it's it, 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 it's cheaper than a Tamiya kit of lesser quality, shall we say? Um, I couldn't fault it in any way, shape, or form. Right, I'm doing the desert camouflage, which is kind of um, very angular. Um, it's st all straight lines as opposed to the uh, the. the, the you know the curvy lines on it um so i'm going to get it base coated with um the, the desert yellow um dark yellow which is what i'm using actually for it um it's uh, xf60 dark yellow and the um the brown was a color i've had to actually make up myself and what it was is uh two parts of uh, the dark yellow to one part of XF64 NATO brown. I think it's XF64. No, XF64 is red brown, I do apologise. Uh, NATO brown. Um, I can't remember where the, what colour that is. Give me two seconds. Right, have a quick look. -y. See... XF68 NATO brown. XF68. So it's two parts of uh, that to one part of that, and that made up my second colour for the camouflage. And the third colour is going to be flat black, but it's only in tiny little areas. 
So, um, my next step now for this will be, I'll do it this evening at some stage. I'll give that, it's, uh, it, it, it's, it, it's top coat. It's uh, the, the, the dark yellow. And if you put it on nice and, you know, even coats, uh, don't build it up too strong then the effect of the light and shade will come through. If you just blast it over and make sure it's well covered, you're going to lose the whole point of doing all this. So you've got to do it lightly, let it dry for a couple of seconds, do another coat. Just keep it nice and misted up until the, you, the distinction is more blended than stark, if you know what I mean. And you just build it up nice and slowly on that. And get the base color down, leave that then for a day or so, and. I, uh, mask off the rest then um you'd want because i'm going masking over the, over the base color i'm going to leave it for about 24 hours before i um i start masking so i won't go lifting off layers of paint and things like that so anyway lads that's my update on the uh Zvezda t90 in 135th scale lovely lovely kit and like i said i would recommend it highly recommend it an absolutely beautiful beautiful kit uh, so I'll leave it at that lads don't forget to like and subscribe subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel uh, don't forget to punch the old like button give it a couple of likes there and uh, let me know what you think in the comments box below so without any further ado this is John signing off and I'll leave you with my little motto just go out and buy a kit and build it and enjoy it that's what a hobby is for. So I'll catch you up uh, tomorrow, lads, which will be Monday, for the uh, my bum. And hopefully at that stage then, I will just give it a, a, a little update. I'll just show you the the, um, the the base coat down, shall we say. Okay, catch you up tomorrow, lads. Stay safe. Enjoy yourselves. And uh, hope you have a nice uh, weekend. John, signing off.